All right, Leo, this is your weekly motivational tarot forecast. You can apply this to your sun sign, moon sign, and rising sign. Also want to mention that we're currently having a Mercury retrograde, so the need to re revise situations, go back, and just fix things, go over things. You can hear from your ex. You may be the ex that shows back up or something. Or you may not hear from them because maybe you have them blocked. I don't know. But you know how Mercury retrogrades are. Maybe you don't, but now you do. So technology definitely is a big thing. Because um, a lot of times, I don't know, technology is funny during the Mercury retrograde. So there may just need to be a backup plan. You know, with your technologies. Make sure, make sure like you've sent that message. Make sure that you have like, I don't know, I wouldn't go as far as a backup generator, but you get it, you get what I'm saying. All right, so, what are the divine messages that the zodiac sign of Leo shall receive for this week? All right, let me recollect. All right, first card, three of cups. So with this three of cups, you could be more socially interactive at this time. Maybe you're partying a little bit, getting out there a little more, some events, connecting with some friends, gossiping. I don't know. I don't know. Some old gossip could maybe come up. I'm not sure. Ugh, disappointment. Five of Cups, so <sighs> something doesn't go over too well. You're disappointed in the way a social event has went about, or the way it just ended up being in some way. Two of Wands. It's okay because you have other directions that you can go in, so it doesn't really matter that this social event didn't turn out the best or this event of hanging out with somebody um enjoying yourself and having a good time something you were looking forward to two of cups all right so there's a relationship that you can go towards so maybe you were connecting with somebody on a more emotional level but another person was involved in the situation so you're kind of disappointed now it didn't go over too well but you have another option you have another option so it's okay you could be stuck between two people that you're interested in. Yeah, eight of wands. So you could be at crossroads between two people that you want to be with, but you feel as though you can't really communicate with them too well. You can't really see how they feel or what direction they're going in. So there's a little bit of confusion there and some mental blocks. Somebody's also blocked maybe, and you can't communicate with them, or you block them. Six of swords, you moved away from this relationship in the past, you moved away from this friendship. So there was people you were hanging out with and they weren't in your best interest and you're kind of disappointed in their actions. You moved away from them in the past. So that's what I'm seeing for Leo pretty much. Like you're having these people hit you up that you used to connect with, that you used to bond with, they used to party a lot, and you guys used to have a lot of hangovers and all that bullshit. You moved away from it to live a better life. Now you're kind of at crossroads in which direction you want to go in, in terms of friendships and relationships and partnerships. Um, and you're at crossroads between which direction you want to go in, how you want to go about this relationship. You feel like you're kind of stuck, at least in the past, you were stuck in a mental prison. You didn't know how to communicate with this person. Maybe they blocked you or you blocked them. But at the end of the day, it looks like you're trying to spend one more time with these people that you moved away from. Maybe you're just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to just have fun again this one last time. And then I'm going to be like, peace, deuces. I'm out. That's pretty much what I'm seeing for Leah. So cool. Enjoy yourself, Leah. I wish you the best. Peace out.